Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. Today's Saturday evening. I went out and flew a little bit. What well, little bit of a, uh, you know, video I caught, I put it up. I'm still trying to figure out all those settings. It was bright, sunny, and in the camera it looked dark. So I'll figure it out one of these days. I'm I'm better at this, not out there. So hey, I take requests from you guys or or video ideas, and and that's working out great. It, now I know what to put up, and now I know what you guys want to see. So I just can't say thank you enough and just keep those coming in. If it's something of importance that like you need help on right away, let me know. If not, I'm just taking it as an idea and I'm writing it down. So thank you. So right now this topic is mixing. You know, mixing is stuff you can mix. It is what, it's, what it sounds like. And uh, if your transmitter can do it, then you can make a mix in it. For example, if you can make the airplane turn right and you can make the airplane go up now you can make a mix when you're turning right it will go up a little bit on all on its own or at a certain percentage it'll start doing that so there's a lot to talk about mixing we could do we could talk about mixing for months and we will but right now we're going to start off, off with the basics what is mixing okay use your imagination and pretend this is a hobby zone aero scout this is my test plane. I've got each control surface a different color so we can know what to look for. You know, for example, if we're doing something and I say, hey, look at the right aileron, we're looking for green. And <clears throat> right now I have an AR636 receiver in it and I put the Hobby Zone Aero Scout profile in it. So this is going to act exactly like a Aero Scout right now. And this servo in the front with the little blue flag is the propeller. When it goes up, it's full throttle. Oh, and I'll show it to you. Right now, let's turn it on. I just got it bound up to the DX7S here. We're not going to do any mixing in the computer or, or in the transmitter right now, so it doesn't matter. Let's let it get bound up and let it do its dances. It's going to dance two times, saying the safe select is active. All right, there's two times. And uh, we'll give it some throttle. And you can see the flag go up right there. So now we should have activated the AS3X. And you guys can hear it. You might be able to see it as well. Look at the ailerons, the red and, and the green. See the red one go up? If a gust of wind blew the wing up, then the aileron is going to go up and counteract it. Okay, look at the elevator here. You see the yellow? I'm trying to see it in the screen of the camera. I mean, it's moving several inches. Okay, so. Planes that are trainer type planes and other planes, there's a good chance that there's a mix programmed into the receiver. And you might not even know it, okay? So we'll just talk about mixing right now that could be in a receiver. So we're gonna pretend like we're flying along, right? In our arrow scout here. And let's make sure we're in safe select. So we're gonna turn it upside down. If the ailerons fully deflect, then safe select is active. Okay, let's see if it is or not. Yep, okay. If I turn safe off and do the same thing, nothing. So we're, we're upside down. Oh man, we're about to lose it. The sun got in our eyes and I just turned on safe. Now they're fully deflected to flip it right back up, right, right side over, okay? So we're flying along. We're in safe. I'm gonna give it full throttle. Watch the elevator. Right, yellow. What did it do? It's elevator down. It's trying to push the nose down. So at full throttle, or uh, it's about, uh, I'd say it's about 80%, 20% and more, the mix starts. The faster you go, it has a mix programmed into it for elevator down to keep you from flying off you know that it's a it's a trainer plane so that's a mix right there let me see let me see you see it again here look at the blue flag okay the the motor as I give it throttle the flags gonna move and then watch the elevator see it all right so there's one mix there's another mix in here see the ailerons and the rudder 
You ever notice when you're flying and you're using your right transmitter stick only that the plane won't really make a circular turn, it just does kind of a bank and, and, it, and it gets there eventually? Well, they have a mix programmed in with the rudder to help you make that turn. So look at the aileron to the right, the green's gonna go up and then watch the blue rudder and the elevator. I just taught myself on that one. So it's got a mix of all three at the same time. That's another mix right there. So we've, we've got our mix of the, uh, the rudder and the ailerons. We've got a mix to the throttle and the elevator. And then of course we have our safe select. See the ailerons going crazy? Now let's turn safe select off. And when we give it full throttle, there's no mix for the elevator. All right, let's try our ailerons. And there's no mix for it either. These mixes are only set for when safe select is uh, active. So let's go look at the PC programmer where you can see these mixes. And then in a follow-up video, we'll do a mix in the transmitter to add to it. Well, we just looked at my foam board test demonstration plane plain plane and it has an AR636 receiver in it and I have put the Hobby Zone Aero Scout preset model file into the receiver so it's as if we bought a Aero Scout well now I'm on the uh, Spectrum PC programmer and let's take a look at what is inside the receiver already right here on the dashboard you can see the gains and the dual rates that are already set up in the expo uh, the gains are basically the sensitivity to the reaction of uh, of the gyro you know how fast does it self level how fast does it react to a gust of wind we'll, we'll do more videos on that the priority is kind of hard to understand that's the priority is what position of your stick movement will the gyro stop helping you uh, for example if priority was set to 200 the minute you touched the stick and moved it one percent the gyro would not help you anymore we'll go more into that dual rates is your high and low you know or, or high uh, middle and low on your servo travel you know a lot of you your transmitter the top right hand corner you flick the switch up and then your elevator would go up a little higher that is dual rates okay and you can see it's already programmed in there and then the expo that is the softness of the stick um, when you move your stick to the right to let's say 50 percent of the travel it won't go it, it won't travel zero to 50 as fast as you're moving the stick it will slowly get to that so that way you're not as jerky uh, you know it's not as as sudden and sporadic kind of slows the movement down on, on the stick okay but we're talking about mixing so let's go here to mixing and you can see that it has three mixes already programmed into the receiver without having to do anything with the uh, transmitter they're already programmed into the uh, receiver one is a mix of roll and yaw, so that's when you're turning with your ailerons, the rudder will help you to make more of a, uh, you know, a circular turn. And then you can see how they got it set up here. We'll go more into that. And then you can see that this mix is only on when you're in the safe mode. And it's active when your gear switch is in position zero that's all stuff you can change and uh, mix number two uh, it's a roll and pitch so it says master and slave so the roll is going to control what the pitch is doing and it looks like we have it set up here on a sliding scale and uh, I'm not even going to pretend to know exactly all, what all it is right this second without studying on it and mix three is yaw and roll so 
the yaw is is you know powering the ailerons this time, so it's, so it's backwards from the number one mix. So I guess if um, if you're getting if, if you're using your rudder way too much and it's going to turn too sharp and maybe stall or just mess you up, the ailerons will help counteract that. So now let's look at another plane that I happen to have in here real quick. We got the carbon Z cub. So now the carbon Z cub is in the programmer here and you can see that the uh, gains have changed so we know that we're in the carbon Z cub. Let's see what mixing it has. It only has one mix, roll and yaw. So the roll are the ailerons and the yaw is the rudder. So you know if you're flying and you're turning with the ailerons only the plane doesn't make like a, a nice circle. It's more of a bank and, and then it turns when it wants to. A big plane like the Carbon Z Cub, you need to use the rudder to turn or you, or you need a lot, a lot, a lot of room. So let's see, they've got this rolling yaw and they've got it when safe is on only. And you can see how they have it set up here. All right, let's go back to the... Uh, well, I guess we can call that mixing a uh, 101. All right. Um, there's tons and tons and tons of mixes and we're going to talk about it and we're going to start at the beginning of it and, and do them all throughout the course of next year or years or however long uh, we all stay friends. So I just want to say thank you guys. The subscriber count going up is what makes me do these videos. That, that, that's what is motivating me. So I'll, I'll continue doing what I'm doing if you guys continue doing what you're doing. Subscribe if you haven't and click that like button. That, that's just how this whole YouTube thing works. If you guys are doing that, then it tells me you like it. It also tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job so everybody's happy. We're at like 200 right now and I'm tickled. 800 more and I'm gonna mail this to somebody. Let, let's do it in the next month or two. It's, uh, it's very possible. All right guys, hey, thank you so much. We're going to continue on with mixing and other videos. The next one we're going to do uh, is gains on a knob. How do you know if it's working or not? And, um, and then we'll do that. Okay, guys, hey, thank you so much. Until next time, you'll see me here.